sketch the graph of y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. Now, this is the equation of a hyperbola. Uh, for that, we'll have to write this in a slightly different form. Okay, so here, we've got the equation y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. So I'm going to do uh, a trick here. So I'm going to, I want to write the numerator in terms of the denominator. Well, you've got 2x plus 1 in the numerator and x minus 1 in the denominator. So I'm going to write this as x minus 1 plus x minus 1. So this is, if you if you simplify this, this is 2x minus 2. But I, I have only 2x plus 1 in the numerator. So if it is 2x minus 2, and if you add 3 here, that is same as this is 2x plus 1 over the denominator, which is x minus 1. So this is same as x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 3 over x minus 1. Okay, so your y simplifies to, so this is 1, this is 1, so this is 2 plus 3 over x minus 1. Now this is a helpful uh, form which helps us to determine that various uh, features of the hyperbola. So the first thing that we need to find is the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So let's first find the x-intercept. The x-intercept is going to be when y is equal to 0. So x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So if you set y is equal to 0, uh, what can we do? Uh, 0 is equal to 2 plus 3 over x minus 1. Okay, so taking away 2 from both sides, negative 2 is equal to 3 over x minus 1. Okay, now you can uh, swap this around. This implies x minus 1 is equal to 3 over negative 2. So this went up and this came down. So uh, x minus 1, so this implies x minus 1 is equal to negative 1.5. If you add 1 to both sides, x is equal to negative 1.5 plus 1, which is, this implies x is equal to negative 0 0.5. So x-intercept is negative 0 0.5. Okay, so let's find the y-intercept. Okay, so the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0, y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So let's set x is equal to 0. In this form, so you can say y is equal to 2 plus 3 over negative 1, because this is 0, which is 2 take away 3, which is negative 1. So yeah, let's write in the, uh, in the right way. So the x-intercept writing the coordinate is minus 0 0.5 comma 0. So the x-intercept is minus 0 0.5 0 and the y-intercept is going to be 0 comma negative 1. So this is your y-intercept. The next thing is to determine the asymptotes. Okay, so let me write the asymptotes. So in this type of equation, you've got two asymptotes. One is called a vertical asymptote asymptote. Okay, let me only write AS asymptote. Hopefully my spelling is right. Asymptote. Okay, so your vertical asymptote, your vertical asymptote is going to be when the function is not defined. Your vertical asymptote is when function when function is not defined or for which value of x is a function not defined so looking at the equation this equation can you tell me 
which at which value of x will your function going to be undefined? Well, your x cannot be 0, sorry, x cannot be 1, because if x is 1, this is going to be 0. And in maths, you're not allowed to have 0 as a denominator. So, well, you can say when x is equal to 1, your function is going to be, function is going to be undefined. Function is going to be undefined, or you can't uh, put the value of uh, 1 in the equation because the function will become undefined. So this implies x is equal to negative, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 is a vertical asymptote. So, so let me only write this, x is equal to 1 is your vertical asymptote. This line, a vertical line, x is equal to 1, is going to be a vertical asymptote. Okay, now the horizontal asymptote is where you have to do, uh, use your logic. Okay, it's logical. And it's very interesting. Okay, so horizontal asymptote is when your x value is approaching positive or negative infinity. So horizontal asymptote is when is when x approaches positive or negative infinity. Okay, so let's think about it. So let's write the equation y is equal to uh, y is equal to two plus y is equal to two plus three over x minus one. Okay, so let's start with what happens when x is approaching x approaches positive infinity. X approaches, say, positive infinity. So let me write plus like this. You can say y, when x is approaching positive infinity, this, so this will become y is equal to 2 plus 3 over, uh, in place of x, you can put a huge number. So let me, so this minus 1 is not going to make any difference. So this, so let me write a positive infinity here. Yeah. Positive infinity minus 1. Okay, so if you have a huge number in the denominator, this is what's ha going to happen to this whole number. When this becomes a huge number, this is almost going to be zero. So this is almost zero, or in practical sense, you can say that is zero. So that's almost zero. So you can say when x is approaching positive infinity, your y would be approaching to will be 2 plus something, okay? So I'll describe it like this. Y is going to approach 2 from above. It will be 2 plus something. So your horizontal asymptote uh, is, of course, Y is equal to 2, but your value of Y is going to approach 2 from above, okay? Same, uh, thinking in a different way, what happens when X is approaching negative infinity? When X approaches negative infinity, what will happen to y? y is going to be 2 plus 3 over negative infinity minus 1. This is always also going to be 0, but it will be 2, this will become negative. This is, this is 0. Uh, you can say it is 0, approaching 0 from the plus, plus side. Okay, I hope you understand what I mean. It's, it's, it's going to be 0, but it's going to approach 0 from the right. Yeah, this is, of course, also going to be 0, but this is almost 0 from the left. So this is approaching 0 from the negative side. So here you can say y is approaching, y will be approaching 2 from below. I'll explain, I'll graph this and I'll explain this later. So y is approaching 2 from below. So you can say your horizontal asymptote, so your horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2. Okay. Let's graph this. Okay. So, so we saw that the vertical asymptote is x is equal to 1. Your horizontal asymptote is uh, y is equal to 2. So this are your vertical asymptote and this is your uh, horizontal asymptote. So I have plotted some points. This is your x-intercept, which is negative 0 0.50, your y-intercept. And this is minus 2. So I've 
uh, on a calculator I have in the table menu I have typed in 2 plus 3 divide, divided by x plus 1 and I've gone from the setting from minus 20 to plus 20 and just to show you when x is approaching see when x is minus 20 it is minus 1.8 so just look at these values and tell me if you can see what's happening. Uh, it is approaching, it will be slightly, it is approach, it is, what's happening? Okay, it is 1.5, it is approaching which number? Okay, so at 1, there is an error. Okay, so it's error when at 1, so it can't be defined. Okay, so what happens as x is approaching uh, negative infinity, it is, it's as x is approaching negative infinity, so if you go, it's approaching 2, okay, minus, suppose let me go from, say, minus 50 to plus 50 uh, at a scale of 5, just to show you. It's approaching 2 from below. Okay, slightly less than 2. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. When x is approaching negative infinity, it's approaching 2 from below. So it'll be slightly less than 2. So this branch would look like this. So this is a this is one point. Okay, and it's approaching 2 from below. This is what I mean by approaching 2 from below. And this is that that's why it's an asymptote. So your graph would go like this, asymptoting towards it. And and it will be as x x as x is approaching one. As x x is approaching one, this will be approaching negative infinity. Okay, so let me show you that. So if you go to okay, it's uh, it's not. Uh, I hope you can see here. As x is approaching one here, your y value is going to approach negative infinity. Okay, so you can plot, uh, take some values which is very close to uh, 1 from the left, this will be approaching negative infinity. The other branch would be as x is approaching positive infinity, so let me show you that, x, x is approaching positive infinity, it will be slightly over 2. Okay, so let me go say from 0 to 10,000. Uh, 10,000 scale of 100. Okay, so can you see this is, I'm, go I'm going in the scale of 100, it will be slightly over 2. Okay, so that's why your graph would be like this. Okay, this is one thing that you can investigate yourself when x is approaching 1 from the left, whereas x is approaching 1 from the left, oh sorry, from the right, this will be approaching positive infinity, and x is as x is approaching one from the left. This will be approaching negative infinity, and at one it is undefined.